good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Joe's Poetry excerpts from my resume. The journey continues and it has been a wonderful journey so far. We started out with me trying to figure out the camera angles. <laughs> Are you looking up my nose? Oh, I look really rough in some of them. And then, and as I've progressed, I've learned things, I've showed you things, how, how I write, the legal things that we need to do to publish, self-publish, you know, copyright, uh, ISBN numbers, uh, you know, picking out uh, uh, just the perfect covers for the books, deciding whether you want to have a, a, a book, a handbook, which I'm still working on that because that's, that's an investment, or an audio version, which is something that I have actually done. To a, a plethora of things, if you're really that interested, I've made a video detailing every little step of the way of this journey that I'm on. And today, last Friday, I had my very first showcase at One Productions. And I'm very thankful to them for allowing me the opportunity to present my poetry. I had a one-hour showcase. It was a wonderful audience. I was just thrilled as punch. And I told myself beforehand, I said, you know what, Johanna? No matter how many people come to this showcase, you are going to perform like it's a cast of thousands and I did I was very surprised I had a whole hour which is quite unusual because you usually only have like three or four minutes but I had a whole hour to perform and I didn't forget anything I want to thank my sister Cinnabella the Bronzeville diva she helped with the direction of the show my daughter Mariah she was my ego, and if you were there, you would know what I meant. And Al Bakar, the <laughs> Iron Lion of Zion, he was my he was my ego number two, and also he played an instrument called the xylophone. It added a lot of flavor to some of the poetry that I wrote. It was a wonderful night. Thank you, Lola of Oz Entertainment, and Dr. Bob Scott for allowing me to be at One Stop Productions. It was wonderful. I felt like a celebrity. And not that there weren't other celebrities there later on that night, but I felt wonderful all the same. I felt like a celebrity. I signed some autographs. Anyway, I also was got two possible gigs that night. Two, right? And, and so I'm just really thrilled. I schmoozed, I mingled, I did an encore performance. And I, I also was reminded of how absolutely wonderful it was to, to, to do the work that I'm doing. Not because it's work, but it's because it's something that I've always dreamed of doing in the back of my head. You know, on those days when I was folding clothes and, and washing dishes and raising babies and, and going to, you know, charity events and volunteering at the church and community affairs and being the you know the girl scout leader and my husband being the, the boy scout leader you know as life began to take on I never thought that this today I would be saying that I perform my poetry somewhere it was always just you know writing down those things and putting them to the side because the next day required that I be mommy again well I'm not mommy right now I'm Johanna and it's been a wonderful thing. I am thankful for the opportunity to to share all the musings that I've written over the years. Now, the uh, production of my book, my resume, is still in process. When you miss deadlines, and I've missed a few, but when you miss deadlines, when you're when you're being published by a publishing company. That pulls everything back. And so for me, that's been my, my biggest problem right now because there's deadlines. and they, they want you to do two or three things at one time and they want this done in 48 hours and you have to have, you only have till Friday to do that. And see, my biggest thing has been because I had been preparing for this one particular show. Not to mention, I did also perform the following evening at Carver Military Academy and I opened, I was one of the opening acts 
for How Deep Is Your Love, the stage play. Um, and that was a few minutes there. But it was just as exciting as being on stage on my own show for an hour. And I, you never lose that feeling. And I just love the fact that, that, that was, it was like that. I was like, oh, wow, here I go on again, you know. And, and it went really well, in my opinion. Um, what can I say? I'm going to uh, hopefully be appearing in a few more shows. I signed my contract to perform at the African Festival of the Arts. That's right. I'm going to be going on at 6.30 in the evening and I will be performing on the world stage. How good is that? You're talking about a journey. This is absolutely fantastic. I mean, I just couldn't be happier. Really, I couldn't. Um, I'm also going to be in um, Jazz in the Alley. Um, I was just uh, informed by my... Uh, my sister that, that she wanted me to come there. I was like, okay, I can do that too. So that's August 2nd and, and hopefully in the afternoon. Um, what else? Just, just stuff coming up. Um, and I'm happy to do it, whether it's for a couple of minutes or if I just show my face there and say, hey, I'm Joe from Joe's Poetry. Like me on Facebook. I'm on Twitter, Google+, YouTube. I'm going to be posting um, as many more of these videos as I possibly can on YouTube because uh, there are a lot of people who just do YouTube. You know, they don't go on Facebook. They just tweet. They don't go on YouTube. And Google+, Plus. yeah, Google me. I like being Google. I Google myself. In any event, that's all happening. So I'm, I'm now I'm constantly in the state of rehearsing because while I have approximately 15, 15 poems committed to memory so that depending on where I go, whether I'm just invited to come to show up and they say, oh, why don't you do something for us? As a poet, you have to be prepared to stand up and do something no depending on the venue and what's being uh, done there and i personally would never have called myself a spoken word artist but that's what i am and my son goes you know you're gonna have to sing i was like nah i'm not gonna have to sing but i sang on my show and i was really good if i must say so myself it was only a few bars but let's face it i can sing too <laughs> I am absolutely, totally, and completely thrilled with the way things are going right now. And uh, you just have to come to one of my shows. I'm going to be posting on my page um, the next venue that I'm going to be at. Um, and I think that's going to be like in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, so be there. You live in Chicago? Head on through. It's going to be wonderful. I'm going to post that on my uh, on Joe's Poetry and everywhere else that I can think of. I'm going to tweet about it. And if I had a TV show, much like this one, there is the sky's the limit. It, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's a wonderful day for me. I hope for you. Life is just giving me everything I want right now. And it's because I'm doing the work, not because I just happen to, you know, stumble on someplace. I'm doing the work. You got to do the work. Got to prepare yourself for it. And me, who used to be a real introvert, oh yeah, <laughs> to be sure, I was an introvert. Today, I'm somebody different. I'm Joe Bright. And this is Joe's Poetry. Am I posting something today? Probably. But it might not be until evening because I find that I have to learn how to do something now that I haven't had to remember to do in a while, which is learn how to micromanage my time. So that's today's lesson. Learn how to micromanage your time because the busier you get, the more you're going to have to be in, uh, do the details of your work of that day. But you all have a wonderful day. And you know what I always say. Enjoy. <laughs>